What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're back working on the budget Evo. You guys will be stoked, as I am, because I love this car. To start things off, we're doing something pretty interesting. So, carrying on from the R34 Dynatune yesterday, where we found all the boost leaks in the, the hose clamps that we were using, the T-bolt hose clamps. The T-bolt clamps that were all leaky on Tara's car yesterday, right? I am assuming, because this car feels kind of laggy with the turbo that it is. Y yes, it's a big turbo, so that's probably part of the cause. But I'm also assuming these clamps are leaking on this setup as well, right? But we can't just assume. So instead of assuming, I've made our own boost leak tester. Please ignore these welds around here. They were terrible, I was just getting used to it. But I did get better around the rest of them, so you know, go away guys. Um, so th what this is, is simply two and a half inch pipe blocked off with a bike valve. And then you put that on this side of the intercooler piping. And then this, which is blocked off, goes on the front of the turbo. And then we pressurize the system to see if we can hear or see any leaks. Very, very simple, cheap setup. Thanks Dr. Drift for the idea. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. We'll bottle these up and we'll see if we've got any leaks on our uh, clamps. Fingers crossed we do, because that would mean that we're going to gain a bit of performance with the car. Uh, what we're also doing, by the way, what, is, what are you up to, Was? Uh, I'm welding up your intake pipe to yeah. one solid piece. Yes, we're removing some couplers. So this coupler is going to disappear, and we're going to be all solid piece, and this whole intake is going to be solid as well, which will help for dose. Oh yeah. Oh yes, maximum dose. Let's see if we more out Hell yeah, and it'll just tidy things up, make it look good. I also am, regardless of whether we find leaks or not, swapping our whole system out to these hose clamps. So, you live and you learn, eh? Let's get it done. All right, our custom boost leak tester is fitted, so on this end, and then down here, we've got the piece that's blocking off at the front of the turbo, so now the system should be sealed, and we should, basically when we apply compressed air to it, we should see if there's any leaks. I need to take the front bar off, I think, at some point, which is super easy, because we've got some silicon joiners down here, but I'm gonna chuck the air through it now and, and see how, it's, how it holds up, but fingers crossed, I bet there's gonna be some leaks somewhere. Sounds like a very sad doggy. The, uh, literally, <laughs> the system won't even hold 10 psi. It's absolutely pissing out, basically. That's at about four pounds. That's crazy, so exactly as we suspected. That's why it's such a good idea. This, this boost leak tester took us like 15 minutes to put together. Yeah. And it's shown us all the holes in our game, basically, so. And the thing is, it's pissing out of here right now. We'll, we'll fix that and it'll move around to the next point. And then the next point, and then the next point yeah. until we basically replace all of the hose clamps. Yeah. But that's awesome news because it's barely holding like five PSI. It starts to leak at like four. And when, that's why probably we're seeing so much lag with our turbo because it has to fill up all of these, fill all these holes before it can even kind of fill the plenum. So overworking the turbo, all of that. So it's good. So. Especially when it's only trying to make like seven pounds or something. I know, and I can't even like get there. This, just then, like I could, won't even get to the 10 pounds with all of that compressed air being pushed in it. So, it's good, awesome news. So we're gonna go ahead and fix fix that up. So we'll actually fix this one up first and we'll boost leak test yeah, it again yeah, yeah. and see if it, that's yeah. the only problem or if it's got more. Nah, it'll be way more. Good times. Cool, so I've gone ahead and replaced these couplings with the proper hose clamps. Now we're gonna test it again and see if the leaks move, because I haven't replaced any of the other ones yet, just that, because that was leaking the most, so. Let's move to the next one now. Really, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. That's not crazy. Huh? Th those T-bolt clamps are only designed to pull up like three mil, not much at all. I know. And that's pretty much how much the silicon. I'm really pushes. excited now to replace, because we're gonna get, it's gonna be a system that's gonna hold boost, right? Yeah. Cause I was wondering like, you're a little bit of flutter, but I expected a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I expected a bit more spool, you know what I mean? I'm happy about that. The That'd boost be... leak test that we made is working. So good. Get it done, maybe we can test it. You. 
This stuff may seem a little bit boring, but what's the point in boosting your car if the boost isn't even making it to the engine properly? No, no point. So I'm saving you guys time by making all the mistakes myself. <laughs> but really, cheaper clamps, but way better. I'm moving down in sections, right? So we'll, we'll replace these couplers now, and we're gonna go again. And then we're gonna see if it keeps moving along all the hose clamps. That's on that side though. It's missed this one. It's that bottom one. That's all of them. <laughs> all right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and replace all the clamps. So I've replaced all of the couplers now with just all of our simple boys. Look at that. Good to go, right? So now we're gonna test it and see if the theory is correct. See if it holds boost. So there you have it, there's 20 PSI in the system. Perfect, the only little leak is that my little, my valve here, because it just isn't perfectly sealed the way I made it, so I'll probably end up fixing that. But um, that's it, 20 PSI, no leaks in the system, so now we can put it all back together, and I want to run it up and see if it even just makes any difference, even on just throttle, which I think it 100% will. All right, I've jiggied up a wee intake here while Woz is doing a proper good one over here. I'm going to start the car. Let's see if it uh, makes any difference. Oh yeah, this thing sounds good. I forgot we did an exhaust on it. way better the boost is actually reaching our engine which is awesome I will take it for a little rip once it was is uh, finished our intake as he's you can hear and kind of see on my face he's ticking right now while he's doing that I have something else that has arrived for the car let's check it out oh oh look at that Brand new brakes for the front of the fake Evo. So our dudes at EBM, Elite Brakes and Mechanical, who have come on board with the channel, we're doing a little bit of stuff together, have hooked us up with some brakes, much better than the stock stuff. So we have the slotted rotors we have here. We also have Brembo brake pads, which is sick. So we're gonna be chucking those in right now while Waz is finishing off the intake. But EBM, We've got some amazing stuff happening. Just going off on a little bit of a tangent right now. Their garage is insane. I went and checked it out when I picked up the brake pads you can see right now on screen. It's super, super clean. I can't wait to do some stuff with them. And the first thing we're gonna be doing together, which I'm really, really pumped about, is our full forged, fully built M52 B25 motor. So that's this block under the bench right here. This is the one that had the low compression on a couple of cylinders, alloy block. We're going to be literally building this thing top to bottom. That includes forged rods, forged pistons, uh, all of the fancy gear. We've got some head bolts that come from, I think it was Poland, but I'll tell you guys more about them when we're building the motor. Uh, so we're going to, yes, we're going to use the alloy block, but it's going to get drilled out to M12 and we're using really big head bolts. We're also getting a fully built head done. We'll do valve springs, we're going to do cams. Everything is going to be absolutely built on this motor and it should be good for some big power. So uh, the first video for that will drop on Friday when I visit their, their place, which is going to be sick. So you guys should definitely get pumped about that. I'm freaking stoked about it. Shout out EBM. We're going to be collabing across the YouTube channel with the engine build because those guys do very cool videos where they literally walk through whole builds, right? So it's more technical than my channel, which is just kind of a hanging out vlogging. So that'll be on Friday. But shout out to those guys. But right now, let's see if our new brakes actually fit the car.
look at that. That is freaking wicked. My first ever full brand new brake rotor and pad install. Very, very happy with that. It only took me 15 plus years. Look how good the Brembo's look. I don't even have to paint the calipers red because it's got a little red there. Sick. That is so cool, man. Just had to use the G-clamp, of course, as you do, just to push the, the um, piston back. And then boom, everything fit on super easy. Took five minutes. So I'm gonna smash out the other side off camera and uh, take it for a wee drive. The brakes need to be bedded in, so more or less I wanna see what this thing kinda does now that we've uh, fixed the boost legs. All right, car is back on the ground. Dan, get out of my way, please. This is how the brakes look. You can, can't really see them too well because they're black, but it looks sick. Super, super stoked with them. It was so easy, so real happy, but we're gonna move the uh, E36 out of the way now. Just take this thing for a quick blast and see how it sounds. Hopefully it's building boost a bit better now. Looks awesome with the front bar off. All right, we don't have the GoPro, so I'm filming whilst driving. That's way better. Ugh. Build boost frickin' heaps better. Woo! Oh wow, that's so much better. Yeah, awesome. I'm not letting it build too much boost obviously because Trying to bed the brakes in, just because we uh, don't want to blow the motor up with uh, no tune. <laughs> God, it goes awesome though. Wicked. Dosing! Love that! Yeah, you guys did that. No, yeah, you did. A car alarm. When you went banging no, down there, what's that? Started. We just went for a quick ride on the pit bikes. Dan finally got. He bought them for both for a hundred bucks. He finally got his one fixed. So worth every penny, but dangerous as hell. The fake Evo is now in a way better spot boost wise. Needs a tune now. I was a bit afraid to kind of step on it. But you can hear it's making boost from like 2000 RPM, which is awesome. Very, very happy with uh, how that come out. Also, I bet in the brakes were on that drive that we were just on before. So now they're nice and silver. Man, they're freaking sweet. Very, very happy with them. So the car's coming along nicely. Next up, we really need to start prepping the car for paint and doing the bodywork, which is a very, very exciting part of it. Whilst I sort out the tuning side of things, I think we're gonna be using RB25 DET injectors uh, because they bolt straight in which is really nice um, and then pr pretty much i'm just waiting on a cable that i've ordered from overseas to plug into this and then start learning how to tune it and i think i'm going to be tuning it myself with dr drift next to me perhaps um, because i really want to get a little bit more involved in the tuning side of things as well so it's always nice to know what you're up to you know so lots of awesome stuff coming up for the fake evo but just stoked to be back and working on it to be honest a huge shout out to Woz, who's an absolute legend for doing 
our intake pipe. We're gonna do a couple more things to tidy up the engine bay as well, um, but just fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you feel like it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I need to go help these guys pack up because I just stand around talking to a camera while they do everything, so you. Peace.